I realized that I needed to make this video because on both my TikTok and my Instagram, I was constantly getting this question. <laughs> It is your girl Kamala K from KamalaK.com. I am an agency signed international model that does both print work and TV commercials. And I'm also a modeling mentor that educates aspiring models all about the modeling industry. So in this video, I'm going to tell you all of those things about commercial modeling, print modeling. What are the requirements to get into this specific space? All right, so commercial modeling, commercial print modeling is a really great avenue for people who wanna get into the modeling industry and they are not someone that is super young. So for instance, or I should say super young in the modeling industry because age is relative in this industry. So let's say that you're someone that's 25, even 35, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I may be too old to actually start modeling. Well, that's not the case. When it comes to commercial modeling, also referred to as lifestyle modeling at times, that is the great opportunity or the great niche within the modeling industry where you can still model if you're 25, 35, 45, because in this space, it really allows for people who aren't the quote unquote typical 5'11 model, 5'10 model that's super slim, super slender, that's maybe 17, 18, 19 years old, right? So in this case, commercial lifestyle modeling would be perfect for someone who thinks that they're too old or that they're older in the modeling industry. So age is a plus for commercial modeling because as you mature, as you grow, there's still so many opportunities within the commercial modeling space despite your age. Before we continue though, if you're new to my channel, welcome, I so appreciate you being here. And if you've been following me for a while, thank you so much for the continued love. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and tap on the thumbs up button as well. And finally, turn on the bell notification. So along with the aspect of age not being as much of a factor in the commercial print modeling space, another great thing is height, right? So with commercial modeling, a lot of times clients will pick people who are considered petite models. So let's say that you're someone that's 5'5", five five and you're thinking this is never gonna happen to me because I'm short, right? So yes, you may be considered short in the typical modeling industry when you're thinking of the high fashion brands, but for the commercial lifestyle space, you're gonna see plenty of models who are below the 5'8 mark who are doing commercial and print modeling and they're also getting paid a really good salary. So don't, dis don't be discouraged just because you don't fit into the New York Fashion Week size or height. Don't be discouraged in thinking that modeling is something that you can't do. So here's the tip. You're thinking, okay, well, maybe I'm past the age that I thought that I needed to be to be a model. Maybe I'm shorter than the height that I thought I needed to be to become a model. So what can you do and what are the agencies that you can go after in order to still make this a, a potential for you? So what you wanna do is when you go to Google, you wanna actually search for talent agencies because while there are modeling agencies that will work with petite models or work with more mature models, a lot of the talent agencies are actually going to be the ones that are gonna be a lot more receptive to models of different body shapes and different sizes and different age groups. So go ahead, go on Google, depending on what city or state or country you, you live in, look to see what are the local talent agencies that are near you and that will open up more doors for you to have the potential of actually getting agency signed. One plus of joining the commercial or lifestyle modeling space and getting into the print world of modeling is that agencies and clients, they're looking for models that have such varied looks, right? Ethnicities, backgrounds, facial features. For instance, people who have freckles, lots of freckles, are really desired in the commercial modeling space and the print modeling space. Those really big beauty brands, they're looking for models that have such unique features as the face that has tons of freckles or the model that doesn't have maybe the most perfect teeth and you would think, oh, well, my teeth aren't that perfect, I can't be a model. Well, no, those models that have those freckles, that have maybe a gap in their, to their teeth, those faces are really sought after in the commercial lifestyle space. If you're someone out there and you're thinking, okay, well, maybe my face is a little bit rounder than I thought it had to be to be a mod, or my face is a little bit too long for what I thought it had to be, or maybe, you know, my teeth aren't as perfect as I thought they needed to be, well, it's okay. 
Look for those talent agencies. Look at the types of models that they have on the agency roster and you'll start to find out that there's actually a category in the modeling industry that's referred to as real people. And real people basically means that clients are looking for people like your neighbors, right? People that you'll see in the grocery store. They're looking for those faces that allows people to feel like they can relate to you. So in that sense, they don't always want the drop dead gorgeous supermodels of the world, right? They want people that are cute, that are pretty, whatever, that have some sort of attraction to them. But at the same time, they want you to be relatable. So that's a great plus in the commercial space. Really quick pause, I wanna share, if you're not familiar with me or maybe you are thinking, oh my gosh, she knows so much information about this industry, just so you know, you can go to my website, kamlak.com and I'll put the link below. I have a page on there and it gives you more information about how you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So let's say that you want me to be your model mentor. That is something that I do. I'll be happy to set up a one hour model mentorship session with you. And we can do a live Zoom coaching, just you and I, and you can spend time with me and I can share with you all about the modeling industry based on your specific goals. Another aspect of commercial modeling, print modeling that you can get into, again, let's say that maybe you're a petite model or even if you are a little bit taller, but another avenue that you can consider is with fitness modeling. And with fitness modeling, this is great because sometimes brands, they're not, they don't want someone that has a pretty face but doesn't have other skill sets. So if you are someone that maybe has some sort of Face that a client would be looking for, but then you also have a skill, a talent, such as being really good at yoga or someone that's good at basketball, or you can play tennis or golf. All of those sports that maybe you wouldn't think of as an asset when it comes to modeling is actually an asset in this industry. So there are clients that are gonna want people who can actually play the sport versus someone to just pretend that they can play the sport. The final thing that I wanna say about commercial and print modeling is there's something called parts modeling. So parts, think of body parts, right? So one of the things that I do as a model as well is I'm a hand model. So there are brands that hire me specifically where I'm picking up their product, doing things with their product, and all that's showing in the final ad is my hands with their product. So again, my hands, that doesn't require me to be 5'11". It doesn't require me to have a certain body shape in my hips, right? It just means that I have to have really good uh, fingers and finger shapes and finger lengths that a potential client would be looking for, right? So again, when it comes to all of this, I want you to just be mindful of the options that you have out there and the way that you can still become a commercial lifestyle model. All right, so those are my quick tips on how to get into the commercial modeling space or print modeling space. And just wanna encourage you to keep going after your goals, keep submitting to these agencies, keep doing your research like you're doing now, watching my channel, binge watching my channel, and understanding really what it takes to be a model, even if you don't fit into the typical age, body size, height that maybe you see other models doing. Trust me, there are opportunities out there when it comes to modeling, more so than what people typically think. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, if you got some encouragement even from this video to keep going after your dreams, make sure that you subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, share this button, hit the bell notification button, and you can also say hi to me on Instagram, on my TikTok, pretty much on all social media channels. You can just find me at Kamla K. So that's it for this week's video. I will see you next time. Have an amazing day. Love you. Bye.